A sprained ankle is a really common injury on a hike. If it happens, you can tape it to add stabilization and support. We worked with our friends at Knowles, who are experts in wilderness medicine, to teach you how to do it here. Or you can check to see if there's an REI class near you. Once you know you're dealing with a sprain and not something more serious, you're gonna grab a roll of athletic tape and you're gonna follow this four-step process that we're gonna walk you through. Here are the basics, and then we'll go into more detail. First, you're gonna use a piece of tape to set what we call the landmark. Then, you're gonna add what we call stirrups, then teardrops, then figure eights. To make it easier to follow, we're gonna use different colors of tape so you can see each step more clearly. The first step is easy. Just wrap a piece of tape two inches above the ankle bone. That's about three fingers width. This is that landmark we talked about that you're gonna come back to for the next steps. Before you add any more tape, make sure the patient's ankle is at 90 degrees to their leg. They can use a pack strap or even a boot lace to make it easier to hold their foot in position. Okay, stirrups are pretty simple. You'll need a strip of tape that goes from that landmark on one side of the ankle, under the foot, and back up to the landmark on the other side. You can measure out the right length of tape by putting the non-sticky side against the foot. When you put the stirrup in place, you're gonna start at the bottom of the foot and you're gonna pull the tape nice and tight up over both ankle bones up to that landmark. Starting at the bottom like this is the key to making sure the ankle is stable. After you get that first stirrup in place, you're gonna add two more overlapping strips on either side of the first. Try to smooth out any wrinkles as you go. Teardrops are also pretty simple. You're gonna start at the landmark on the uninjured side of the ankle and run the tape under the foot, wrap it up and over the top, and end right where you started. You want this to be snug, but not so tight you're cutting off circulation. Check in with your friend along the way to make sure they stay comfortable. Then you're gonna add two more overlapping strips on either side. Adding figure eights is where it gets a little bit more complex. They call this a figure eight because it forms two loops, one under the arch and one around the ankle. Start out just like the teardrops. Run a piece of tape from the landmark on the uninjured side, under the foot, then up and over. That ends the first loop. From here, and continuing with the same piece of tape, Go around the back of the ankle and back to the top of the foot to complete the second loop. Finish it up by taking it back under the arch. Just like with the stirrups and the teardrops, do the same thing two more times with overlapping strips. All right, before you put the tape away, check your work. Exposed skin is likely to blister, so cover any gaps that you find. Then make sure your friend can feel and move their toes. Have them walk around a little bit and adjust the wrap if it feels too tight or just too uncomfortable. The best way to learn anything is to do it. Find a Wilderness First Aid class from the link below or click through to get more information in our articles. We hope you won't have to use these skills, but if you do, you'll be ready.